So one of the, the points I'm trying to make is that, uh, yes, statistics can be used to lie, just as words can be used to lie. Um, but we wouldn't say, oh, some people sometimes lie with words, and therefore I'm never going to listen to anything anybody ever says. I'm not going to read anything. I'm going to close my ears when people talk because I, I, don't, want, I don't want any of those, those nasty lies. Um, and of course, that would be, would be absurd. We'd say, well, sure, there are lies. You've got to be careful, but you know, we, we, we need to keep using language. And I feel the same way about statistics. Yes, statistics can be used to mislead, um, either subtly or in a brazen way. But that doesn't mean that we should give up on statistics. And if we gave up on statistics, we'd be, I mean, that would be a tragedy. We'd be losing so much. So, th so that, I absolutely accept the parallel. And one of the solutions that I'm trying to provide in the book is to give people a bit, both the confidence and the tools to assess statistics for themselves. And so you don't have to, you know, duck into this sort of reflexive crouch of just like, I don't believe any of it. You can be more curious and engaged and open-minded and say, well, okay, I trust myself to be able to figure out what's going on. But, uh, and the other thing that's, that's important is, uh, as, as I alluded to in the, in the column on debating, there's a lot to admire about debating the way that everyone gets equal time. There's no, there's no you know, special preferences for a particular kind of person. So you're, you're older or you're a man or you're white, and therefore you get longer to speak. Everybody gets the same amount of time to speak. So there's a lot to like, but there's also a lot that frustrates me about debating, which is that to some extent, it, it brings out a lot of our worst characteristics when we're trying we tell ourselves we're trying to get at the truth but really we're just trying to win there's a lot of joking there's a lot of mockery there's a lot of turning around and playing to your own side and not really bothering to take the other side seriously or really trying to persuade anybody um, that happens a lot in debating and I'm I'm trying to argue against that just mode of existing in the in the public sphere that what we really want to do is understand the world and that means not trying to win arguments. That means being open-minded and asking questions. And statistics are an absolutely essential part of that. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. And the final point you made there was, well, the Socratic method helps us. And of course, Socrates, it got him killed. But what he used to do was ask questions. And for me, the, the, the book has 10 rules, but a, a lot of the rules are encouraging people to ask the right kinds of questions. And they're often not highly technical questions. They're much more straightforward, much more almost common sense. Um, the, the sorts of questions that you should be asking whenever you encounter any kind of claim. And I think anybody has the ability to, to acquire those habits of mind and to ask those kinds of questions.